One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. I wish that you could see me right now because I'm like, giddy. Like I, well, I'm glad you can't see me and let's just be really honest. Cause I have on my, my workout pants, my good vibe sweater, and my hair is in a ridiculous bun on top of my head. I haven't washed it from working out, like all the things, right? Like the TMI, too much information overshare, but at the same time, I really wish you could see me cause I have the biggest smile on my face because the review giveaway is like in full swing. We are listening to this. Like hopefully you have entered. I like even better if you have won one of the prizes this week for the Profit Podcast Review Giveaway. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you are listening to this at a later time, like way past April 2021, let me break it down for you because we are talking about how to run a podcast review giveaway. So let's get right to it. Welcome to the Profit Podcast, where we teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, because if you've been trying to figure out the world of podcasting, think of this show as the time-saving shortcut you've been looking for. So let's get right to it, shall we? Okay, I'm like, I'm standing up today and I'm excited. I got lots of energy flowing and I'm just feeling good because <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reveal a few things about myself today. If you didn't already know this, um, I'm a super dork, okay? Like I feel like I have kind of shown a little bit of my nerdy, quirky side, but I am gonna really shine my superpower of being a super dork in today's episode. And by that, I mean, I love podcasting so much and I get questions about podcasting all the time that just freaking light me up, get me so excited. And 
today's episode, I feel like has been like three years in the making because I get asked all the time about, have you ever done a podcast review giveaway? And I'm like, no, I need to do that. Have you ever done a giveaway and given away prizes and done that? And I'm like, well, I did that when I launched my book, but I've never done it for a podcast. Well, as of me recording this, like we are in full swing of the review giveaway. So before we get any further, let me tell you the details that you need to know. First, if you're listening to this after April 2021, the giveaway is over. Okay, like let's just be very clear. If you're listening to this in a future date, the prizes are gone. We've given them all out. This is a timely giveaway that we are only doing in April 2021. Now be on the lookout, okay? Because we'll probably do some more in the future, but in real time, this is happening right now. And if you're listening to this in the future, I hope that you have some great insights, but you've missed the giveaway, okay? That's first and foremost, we had to get that out there. Second of all, if you are listening to this in real time and you have not submitted your entry, go to crystalprofit.com forward slash review. There's going to be a link in the show notes. We'll talk about those in a second, but I want to make sure that you are entered into the giveaway because there's only a few more hours. If you're listening to this in real time, it is actually ending tomorrow, tomorrow on Friday, April 30th, 2021. The like grand prize giveaway is going to be gone after tomorrow. Okay. Like it's being given away. So, okay. There, there's my, there's my two things. I want to make sure if you're listening to this in the future, sorry, you missed out, hang around. Like we'll be doing some other cool giveaways later on, but I am so dang excited to be doing this. So where did this idea come from? So like I said, it came from people asking me all the time, have you ever done a review giveaway? And I'm like, for, what does that even mean, right? Like, let's just break it down to the very, very basics. What does a review giveaway mean? It means that you are giving away something of value, something that's fun, something that's cool, something that's quirky, something related to your brand, to your audience in exchange for reviews. And specifically, and we're going to get into the details, like that is what today's episode is for. I want you to know how I set it up. And then in the future, uh, probably in the next six weeks, I'm going to be doing a podcast episode that's like the debrief of everything that we did to make this review happen, how it all went, and what I learned from doing it. But I wanted this to be like the precursor to that episode so you can see what I've done to set it all up. And then we will always link back to this episode as, hey, go, if you want to set up, set up a review giveaway, here's how you do it. The other episode will be kind of like a case study of what I learned. Here's the do's and the don'ts and like, you know, the ups and the downs and things that happen. But as of me recording this, we're right in the middle of it. So I'm all happy. Like nothing's wrong. <laughs> like we're, we're in good here, but Okay, so this is where I'm going to go a little nerdy on you already from the beginning. I wrote all this information out in my journal because this is what I do. Like <sighs> journaling has been so therapeutic in my life. And oh my gosh, it's never been more true than living through 2020. I actually have, it's funny because I didn't do this like on purpose, but I started almost a brand new notebook. And they usually last me about one or two, now probably two months when I start one. I started one right when the pandemic hit last year and I look at it and it's black. I never have a black notebook ever, ever. Like I always have blue and green and orange and like just like really colorful. <laughs> and this one is black. And I'm like, hmm, that was a little, little ominous there, like little precursor to what was actually going to be coming in March, 2020. But I look back at that and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just, it's therapeutic to me, like to write out how I'm feeling and what's going on in my head. I do it. I journal when I'm overwhelmed or I'm trying to figure something out. 
So I journaled about the review giveaway. I actually did this a while ago to get the idea out of my head of when I wanted to do this, what it looked like. So really, if we back up probably six months ago when I was looking at what I was gonna do in 2021, I had review giveaway as something I was so excited to do in April. And the reason why I chose April is because I had some other really big projects at the beginning of the year And I wanted to follow those up. Like I was turning my program on Evergreen and I was redoing the website and we were like trying to get through some launches and spring break and all those things. And I said, I want something to look forward to. And it was this giveaway because I knew it was going to be an experiment. It was going to be fun. It was going to be something that I, it's like me going first to figure it out and then being able to turn around and be the super nerd and say, oh my gosh, y'all, this is what I did. This is how it happened. These are like all the fun, like behind the scenes information that I know y'all love. And so I've been journaling about this for a while and I have in front of me um, some of the notes that I have. I actually have several pages and I would never, ever, ever rip up like my journal pages. But I do wish for today I could like just rip them out and have them all in front of me. Um, I guess people that are like, well, that's what digital is for. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Okay, this this is how ideas come out of me. And then I put them in a sauna. Okay, but that is something that I did. I did like a big brain dump of what do I want this to look like? Why am I doing this? How is it going to help me? How is it going to help my audience? And so I wanted to go over a few of those first and foremost, because if you're thinking about doing a giveaway, you have to ask yourself, why? Why would you ever do a review giveaway? And the reason why I am doing it like I just said, is because I needed to go first before I could teach you how to do it well. Because there's gonna be things that I will learn over the next week that's like, oh my gosh, like don't do not do this, or I did this and it worked fantastic. You have to use this software, this program, or you have to post on this time of day or in this way. Like I'm gonna have so many things after this whole giveaway is over, but that's the reason why I'm doing it. I want to teach you how to do it in an awesome way, but also I wanna do it for marketing purposes. So I am on the back end doing like a scientific experiment, right? I am trying to see if I have more reviews on my podcast, does that change how my podcast shows up in Apple Podcasts, does it bump me up in the charts? And if it does, by how many? I've already, trust me, you should see my Asana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a YouTube video on this too. So I'll show you the behind the scenes of, I have where I was before, how many reviews and ratings I had. I did the five stars, I did the one stars. Like I have all that information ready to go. So after we're done with all this, I can see well, this is where we were, this is where we are now, and this is a direct correlation of getting more reviews on the Profit Podcast. So that's a big reason. I wanna show you how this is all going to work. So that's part of my why. The marketing piece is the social proof. Now, for those of you that are just getting started with your business and you're like, I need some social proof and I am not really working one-on-one with clients, I don't have a course that I'm out there selling, I don't have workshops where people are giving me reviews, your reviews for your podcast can absolutely be used as social proof on your website. You can share them on your social media. You can put them in your emails. Like if you have a welcome sequence and you're like, oh, I wanna add a review for my podcast, like someone gave you a glowing review and like said all these amazing things about you, there are so many different marketing ways that you can use those. And we're gonna talk about that in the debrief episode after we collect new reviews and we comb through them and we see how we can use them in different ways. But those are some of my whys and the reasons why we're doing this review giveaway, okay? So now we're gonna jump into the practicality, like the tactical uh, logistics. I just said a bunch of words that I think are pretty much (laughs) synonyms, like practical, tactical, like all the things, right? We are gonna dive into logistically how I set this up. So I knew I wanted to have a deadline. This is how my brain works. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this in April. When is it gonna happen? So I looked at my calendar and I said, okay, I'm going to do this the last week of April because I didn't have anything else going on. I didn't have 
a bunch of meetings that week. I didn't have a bunch of interviews. I actually, uh, I canceled all my interviews or I didn't cancel them. I blocked off in Calendly. You can select like if you want to have interviews on certain weeks or days or opt out of those. I cleared my calendar for this week because I knew this is when I'm going to do it. And then I decided, this is again where the scientific experiment comes in, I wanted to do five days. I wanted to do Monday through Friday because I have prizes. That's really what this is based on. And we will absolutely get to prizes in a second because I know if you've won some prizes or you've seen me talk about them on social, like you already know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to give away several things over several days instead of just having one grand prize winner. The reason behind this is the marketing aspect of word of mouth, where I'm hoping that, you know, someone enters the giveaway and then they share it with their social media platform or they share it with their friends. Like say, hey, like enter this giveaway and you can have a chance to win these prizes, right? Giveaways and contests, like those are always super fun and people get really excited about them. So I wanted my audience to have the opportunity to get excited about them, which is why you've heard like you had dynamic content on this podcast. Like if you were listening in real time to this episode, you've probably heard me talking about the review giveaway. Like it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Well, now it's here. I wanted to have plenty of a runway so that you weren't just blindsided like, oh, I missed it. I, I missed the giveaway. Like if you're an active member of this community, you knew it was coming and that was intentional. But I didn't want it to just be, a one day, we're going to give away a whole bunch of stuff in one day. I wanted it to be a gradual buildup to a grand prize. So I decided we're going to do Monday through Friday. The cutoff time was going to be 3 p.m. on Friday would be when I announce the grand prize winner and then it's done. So I had to come up with the terms and conditions and what that looked like. For me, the terms and conditions were one prize every day. There are no multiple entries. Like I'm sure you've seen other um, review giveaways or other giveaways where people say, oh, you know, if you share on Instagram, if you share on like, go like us on YouTube, subscribe here, do like do all these extra things, you get more entries. I did not want to do that for this giveaway. I did do that when I launched my book, Start a Binge Worthy Podcast in October, 2020. And it got a little complicated simply because I was like, oh, okay, well, if I do that, then I have to add in this other piece of software. And while that software was great in many respects, what I didn't love about it is I only got someone's email. I didn't even get somebody's name. So all of a sudden I have like, I, I mean, and there's a video of it. I'm like, like covering my eyes a little bit. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was such a disaster. I was trying to announce winners live. And then I realized all I have is everybody's email addresses. I didn't even have anybody's first name. So I was like, crap, I can't even call people out. I don't want to say a bunch of people's names all over Facebook and YouTube. Like I wouldn't want my email address getting like shared that way. So that was kind of a disaster. So I decided I'm going to do this as simple as possible. Starting a podcast can be super overwhelming. How do I know? Well, because I've been there. I have been in your shoes. If you are just now in the creation stage of getting your podcast up and running, then I invite you to check out Profit Podcasting. This is my digital program that teaches you all the ins and outs of how to start, launch, and market your podcast. I want you to go check it out and see if it's going to be the right fit for you. If you're looking for a way to understand exactly how podcasting works, you want to know how to create content, how to launch your podcast, how to get it on all the players, but most importantly, how to tell people about it without feeling like you're alienating your friends, your family, your neighbor. Like, I want you to go check out Profit Podcasting. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash course to learn more about Profit Podcasting and to enroll today. crystalprofit.com forward slash course to check out more. Okay, let's get back to today's episode. Being a woman in business comes with its own unique set of challenges, but also so many opportunities. 
we get ahead by leaning in to what makes us different from business as usual. I'm Samantha Hartley, host of Profitable Joyful Consulting, inviting you to a special six-episode series exploring the experience of being a woman in business. You want to hear from women consultants who've hit a million dollars, who sell six-figure engagements, or who've broken their own revenue ceilings? Yeah, those are my clients, and they'll be sharing too. Join me for six must-listen episodes that tackle key challenges for women consultants. Follow Profitable Joyful Consulting on your favorite podcast app. And so I used Google Forms. This is what I used. And I just made, actually, let me open it up. So I'm actually looking at the Google Form right now. Crystalprofit.com forward slash review. And what it says on here, it's very simple, but it has how to enter, and I put submit your review for the Profit Podcast on Apple Podcast, take a screenshot of your review, fill out the form below, and upload your screenshot. Now, I know many people are like, wait, why can't people just go and leave a review? So I actually put in the the FAQ section, I knew that people were going to be like, wait, why do we have to submit a screenshot if we're doing it in Apple Review or, you know, doing an Apple Podcast? Well, the reason why, and this is actually before all the Apple podcast updates that they just announced, like I didn't know that those were coming specifically in like the last week and a half. I didn't know that they were coming when they were. And Apple typically takes 24 to 48 hours before they populate a review. It's not automatic. It's not something that like, oh, I typed in, this is an amazing show. This is the first thing that I learned and I can't wait to learn more about XYZ. If I type that in and hit submit, it doesn't populate automatically. I don't know what their specific review process is to get those out into the world, but it's not immediate. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to have the review in Apple Podcast, but I also wanted to have the proof from the person who did it, they submit the screenshot and then we can say, awesome, yes, we see your screenshot, we see that you entered, here's your prize, here's what you win. And so that's the reason why I did that. Now, you can choose however you wanna do this with your giveaway, this is the reason why we chose to do it this way is simply because we can see who actually left a review, what that looked like, and it's not a perfectly seamless process, okay? (laughs) Like, let's just throw that out there. I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually recording this like a few days, like right before the review happens, like or the giveaway happens. This is a Friday. It starts on, technically on Sunday is when I'm really gonna announce it and start talking about it. But um, I'm recording this a few days before and I don't know what's gonna happen with all the Apple podcast changes and updates. It's making me a little nervous that there's going to be more hiccups than I had previously anticipated, but we're just going to press on and push through and hopefully um, everything works. Hopefully everything works where people can still submit reviews fine in Apple Podcast. If they don't and if we can't, then it's going to be a a, a learning, <laughs> learning situation, but it's going to be fine. It's fine. I just think about Ross every time I'm friends. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's talk about, we talked about the Google form. We talked about how I kind of did a brain dump in Asana. Let's go back to Asana real fast because I knew that I wanted to create the Google form. So I put that, like assigned that to myself as like, hey, you gotta create a Google form, here's what it should say. So I did like a rough outline in Asana first before I got into Google Forms and I made it to where it would just flow nicely and I had all the information that I needed to have. Then in Asana, which is a project management tool, if you've never heard of Asana, A-S-A-N-A, It's something that I use for all of my projects. I started using it for my content calendar and it helps me just kind of hold myself accountable for all the projects and the promotions and all the things that I'm doing. And so I go in there, I created a specific project for the giveaway and I wrote out all the tasks that I needed to do, like creating the Google form, writing the emails, creating social posts, like doing all of those things. 
And then I put a deadline on them. Like, when do I want to have all of this done so I'm not stressed out and it's finished by the time the giveaway starts? So I did all of that in Asana. I made it happen. I did the Google form. And then I wrote my emails. Now, here's the interesting part. So if you are thinking about doing a giveaway, like you already know, I'm a huge fan of email marketing. I'm a huge fan of emailing my list. If you're on my list and you're listening to this in real time, you have been getting emails every day this week. And at the top, they say, hey, by the way, we're in the middle of a giveaway. You're gonna get lots of emails this week. You can click this link here to opt out and you don't have to get them. Like you'll just get our regular weekly emails. I highly recommend doing this. If you are going to be sending a lot of emails to your list, there's going to be a percentage of the people on your list that don't care about your giveaway or that don't want to get emails every single day and there's a higher chance that they're going to unsubscribe. So what I like to do is say, hey, there's a big promotion going on or there's something happening. You can click this link right here if you don't want to hear about it. And then I don't send them emails for the rest of the week about that thing. I just like, hey, you opted out. You'll just get our weekly stuff. So I highly recommend doing this for any kind of promotion, not just for a giveaway, but for any kind of promotion that you have. Have like give your people an opportunity to self-select out of the email promotion that you're in the middle of. Okay, so emails. I wrote my emails then I uploaded them in ConvertKit and I made them to where they were centered around what the giveaway was about. Now, bear with me for a second because I know this is super, super meta. Like, I feel like it's the rushing nest and dolls of podcasting right now because it's a review podcast review giveaway about podcast reviews and I'm talking to you about podcast reviews and how to do them. I get it. Like I feel like it's inception and like <laughs> on the highest level, but I wanted to break this down for you so that you can understand all the different steps that I went through to make this happen. So I'm going to take you back to Asana for a second because I had to come up with the terms and conditions and everything. And the thing that I kept asking myself is, how do I want to announce these prizes? How do I want to make sure that everything is on par with what my business is, like what we actually do? And so I decided I'm going to announce all the winners on Instagram stories because it's where I interact with a lot of people in my audience. And I know a lot of people watch my stories. And so I said, okay, I'm going to announce them every day at 3 p.m. Central on my stories because then it's shareable. People can say, oh my gosh, I won. And they can get excited about it. Or they can see, hey, you know, I didn't win today, but I'm hoping that like it's that social share aspect that I really wanted to play with and experiment with. So that's why you've seen me posting on Instagram stories all week about the giveaway because I wanted to make it a big deal. But now I also had to think, what if everybody who enters isn't on Instagram? That's okay. That's okay because not everyone will be. Not everyone will be on the same platforms that you use. So I had to have a backup. My backup was, we'll also send you an email with the like how we're going to deliver your prizes to you. Like if you have something tangible that has to be delivered like physically to your house, we're going to send an email and send that out to you. So I wrote that email. I wrote that email along with all the other emails ahead of time because I didn't want to be stressed out the week of the giveaway, right? I didn't want to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't send out the email for today. Oh my gosh, like I wrote all of that out in Asana beforehand. I scheduled it to go out at I don't, early in the morning, as early in the morning as possible for the week of the giveaway because I wanted people to have plenty of time to read those emails, to enter into the contest or the giveaway to be able to have a chance to win a prize. Oh, Y'all, this is like, I thought that this episode was gonna be like 15 minutes and here we are like over 25 minutes in and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's still so much more I wanna cover. So I wanna wrap up with prizes. Okay, so prizes. I have seen reviews or like giveaway reviews done really bad and I've seen other types of giveaways that are done really well. 
And if you are thinking about creating any kind of giveaway, the number one thing when it comes to prizes is what is something that is aligned with what you already do? So the things that I decided on for prizes for this giveaway were all centered around podcasting. It would not make any sense for me to say, oh, you know, here's some Target gift cards. I mean, I guess it would because everyone could go to Target. Maybe people would get excited about Amazon gift cards or Target gift cards. But at the end of the day, those aren't directly related to podcasting. So the daily prizes, when I sat down, I was like, okay, what is something that is going to be affordable for me, right, as the giveaway host, what's something that's gonna be affordable for me, but what's also something that my audience is going to be excited about? I want you to think about this. If you're thinking about doing a giveaway, what is something your people would be excited about? Maybe it is Starbucks gift cards or Amazon gift cards or things like that, but then people are thinking, I'm just entering to get that prize, not I'm excited about this prize. I really, really want to enter because I've been wanting this thing. So my daily prizes were signed copies of my book because I have them here at my house and it wouldn't cost that much money for me to send them. I'm also giving away private one-on-one coaching sessions with me because I know my audience is always asking and I don't typically advertise coaching sessions. So this is kind of an exclusive offer that I can give to a few people without it overwhelming me. And also it's something that's exclusive to this giveaway. I also am giving away access to my digital program, Profit Podcasting. This is a way for me to talk about my program, but also get people who are like, oh my gosh, like I have been wanting to join this program forever. I'm absolutely gonna enter. I'm gonna do my review. I'm gonna, you know, go submit my entry because I want access to Profit Podcasting. And then the grand prize winner, y'all, I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to give this away because it is everything we just talked about. It's signed copy of my book, Start a Binge Worthy Podcast. It will be a one-on-one coaching session with me. It's access to my program. And I also have a Rode pod mic microphone and a Focusrite interface. What does this mean, right? If you're like, what, which, does she speaking English anymore? Basically, it's fancy podcast equipment that I wish I would have had in the beginning of my journey. And I know there's a lot of you listening right now that are like, oh, I want that. I've been wanting to get a dynamic microphone. I've been wanting to try out an interface. I've been wondering what it would be like to have an XLR cable microphone, like all the things. I know because I had all these questions too whenever I was first starting. So I knew I got to throw something into this grand prize. Like, oh, I want to win that. I want to get that, right? So that is my mentality behind choosing prizes. They were affordable options for me, right? Because I could handle the postage and mailing of my books. It doesn't cost me anything extra other than my time for coaching sessions. And access to my digital program, it's already complete. It's just a matter of adding someone to the program for something that I hope they're really excited to start. Because right, you're probably listening to this and you wanna level up your podcast or start a podcast. So I hope that y'all are excited about all these prizes. And then of course, the over the top one is, I know y'all are gonna be excited about getting some really cool podcasting equipment. So that, in a nutshell, (laughs) I'm like, in a nutshell, almost 30 minutes later, That is the idea behind the review giveaway. I have so much more to share with you. I have so many more, I guess, like, I don't want to call them like trade secrets, but things that I'm doing behind the scenes that I can't wait to talk about that went into different decisions and how I'm approaching the giveaway. But you're just going to have to wait until we do the debrief episode in the future. And y'all, I was just looking and we're on episode two. 50, 250 episodes of the Profit Podcast. And if you have been listening to this and you have not written a review, now is the time. It is literally the episode that I'm gonna call you out and say, you can leave a review for this podcast and be entered in 
to win some really amazing prizes. Again, if you're listening to this after April 2021, the giveaway is done. Like we are done after April 30th, 2021, but I hope that you learned some interesting information and I hope that you follow up this episode with the future one that we do about everything that I learned. It's the review giveaway debrief. That's like, be on the lookout for it. It's coming in the next few weeks and I'm already excited to share with you all the things that I've learned because I have learned so much in doing this. I've learned it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of planning, but it can absolutely happen. And I hope to see more review giveaways for podcasts in the future. But that's all I have for you. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 250. You're going to see all the information about the giveaway. You're going to see where to enter. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash review. I cannot wait to give away these prizes. I cannot wait to see what y'all do with them. I cannot wait to see what happens in the next few weeks, the next few months with podcasts because y'all, We are exploding right now. If anything that I've learned from the Apple podcast updates and all the things that are changing, like podcasting is in the spotlight right now, and I am so fired up and excited about it. So make sure that you have subscribed to the podcast so you get updates on when we put out new episodes, leave your review, enter it into the giveaway, and I cannot wait to share with you so much more in the next few episodes because we have some really fun stuff coming up. But that's all I have for you today. So remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners. Thanks for sticking around a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in an upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.